Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph. I'm pretty excited about today's video. I'm also a little bit nervous, but I think I'm more excited than nervous. And that is because I get to launch my brand new Flowshop color grading tool. I posted in my community tab a while back that I was about to launch it, but I also just wanted to test it out and see if it's something that can become an integral part of my workflow. For example, my workflow actions is something that I use every single day for retouching. My melanin skin tone, that is also something that I add to absolutely all my images. And and now I'm adding this Flowshop color grading tool. And so yeah, let me just use this opportunity to say a huge thank you to everybody that has bought a product and supported me in a way. We're going again and this time we're going with the Flowshop color grading tool. I'm excited, I hope you are too. I'm gonna do a demo for you guys to see how it works because there are some secret sources that you only get to see when you purchase this product. So link is gonna be down below. You can purchase it after watching this video if you're excited about it as I am. Let's jump right in and do a little demo for you guys to see. So I'm gonna go into my actions before I even run it. Let's just examine this image. So I feel like this image was shot on a warm, sunny day because you can see from the light streaks across her face and you know, the vibe that is going on that this image feels like it will look better if it had like a warmer tone overall um, in the image. So that is what we're gonna try and achieve with this color grading too. But then again, you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to this um, new action. And that's the thing, I feel like the melanin skin tone last for example, we're created to do specific things. The presets as well, we're created to do specific things. But with this, you can have so much fun. There's so much flexibility. I honestly can't wait to see what you guys are going to create with this tool, just because of how fun it is to use and the fact that you get to see your results in real time and make creative decisions along the way. All right, let me just press play to run this action. And immediately you can see that the image has changed, right? So if I do it before and after, you can see definitely there's been a ton of change. But don't be scared, this is the preset that comes with the action. There's no color defined in there and that is why it looks like that. We are now the ones supposed to choose the colors that we want to be present in the image. And it's very simple, just click on this icon next to set colors because that is where you're going to be choosing the colors that you want to be present in your image and over there you can now define the colors that you want to be in your highlights and in your shadows let me start with the highlights like i said i want this color to have a bit of warmth in there so i'm going to go into a warm tone and simply pick a color. Already you can see that it's applying that effect onto the image and it's beginning to give it that overall warm tone. But there's still a lot of contrast in there. We will fix it right now. We just want to define the color that we want to be present in our highlights. I'm gonna press okay, press okay again. And um, actually let me just define the color that I want to be present in the shadow area. So in the shadow area, I think I'm just gonna lift up you know, the contrast is so it's not as dark as it was. And I'm also now going to define the color that I want. Do I want to stick with a warm tone? Do I want to go into a cool tone? That is just going to, you know, add a bit of color contrast in there. Maybe we can saturate that color a little bit if we want something like so. But I feel like, you know, this is just giving it a cool tone. That wasn't the idea that I mentioned in the beginning. So it means I have to go more towards a warm tone. So something still in the lines of like an orangey tone. And I'm also going to darken it just a little bit. Something like that should look good. All right, I love the way it's looking. Again, we have to just try and lift up the contrast so we don't black out um, our shadows. We still want to retain a bit of detail in there. So I'm gonna go into the layer called Contrast or Color Pop, and I'm just gonna lift the contrast curve that I added so we can bring a little bit more information back in the image. And I'm also going to go back into Dynamic Boost, and I'm just gonna drop that down actually let me go up a little bit and drop this part down because we still want a bit of contrast in there just like that but I do it before and after you can see that we've been able to color grade this image i love the tone going on and we can still explore with more colors even so if i go on to what i call auxiliary coloring and double click on that by just moving a slider, I get to have more options given to me based on the colors that I choose. And over here, you can see that 
it's giving me a very nice purplish tint which matches the flowers that she's holding and it's just adding to the feel of the image so i mean there's really no right or wrong way with color grading and that is the thing like color grading is subjective it's up to you it's up to your mood what you want the image to convey and stuff like that and i feel like this tool is just going to give you so many options to play around you might end up even getting confused and that's a good thing in this case all right okay so let's just say this is the feel that you want to go for or maybe if you actually just want to maintain the warm tone that you had you can simply just go back to the warm tone by just moving the slider back actually let me just go a little bit more towards red all right so this i feel is a perfect color grade for this image here's a before here's an after this looks amazing and we did this in just a couple of minutes all right let me move on to another image so this image is like an outdoor image and we can even define the colors that we want into this image so this action is going to be versatile it's going to cut across studio images outdoor portraits and stuff like that so let me just quickly run this action we're going to go into set colors this time i want to put blues into the shadows like some really saturated blues if i can um something like that perfect we're going to go into the highlights and i feel like i just want to add a bit of warmth into the highlights so we create like a slightly cinematic feel over here so i'm defining the color that i want to be present in the highlights just like that go a little bit warmer perfect okay now i want to define the ratio do i want the warmth to be more present in the image or do i want the coolness to be more present so let's just play with that and see i feel like just adding a bit more of the warmth into the image actually works well in this case i'm just gonna press ok now what i can do is because these are actions and layers created i can even add on to it and that's the beautiful part about it so what i want to do now is actually just create a hue saturation layer and i want to target the yellows and the greens and i want to just desaturate them a little bit so they are not too in your face in this case so the yellows and the greens just pulling those down just a little bit just like that and you can see that this is just giving us a completely different vibe and i um, absolutely love it as well so i'm just gonna go into our auxiliary coloring and i'm also just gonna move this around and see what other color options that we are presented with um a little bit more towards the right side actually this is also not a bad color tone at all i really love it i can actually even close the group and if i want some of that original color tone to show through i can just reduce the opacity of that and so we have a very good mix between the original colors and the color grade that we added to this image and this is a very beautiful color grade if you ask me maybe we just want to boost the contrast a little bit more so what i'm going to do is go into contrast and just darken down the blacks even more just like that so she really shines she really stands out out. and i think this is a perfect color grade right so here's a before here's an after we've been able to apply this color grade in just a matter of minutes because i was doing a demo it was a little bit longer let me know how you feel about this brand new color grading tool you can see that it is going to be a very versatile tool i can't wait to see what you guys create with it i hope you found some inspiration and i hope you're going to you know explore this tool a little bit more have fun with it have fun with color grading in general when you purchase it you're supporting me helping me create even more uh, free tutorials on the channel so happy color grading people um, i'll catch you guys in the next video and remember don't ever give up link is down below